If you're watching this video, you're about to make a whole lot of money. People are telling you create an offer. They're telling you to create a program, create a digital product. They're telling you to start a business. Everyone tells you what to do about content and about selling, but no one teaches you how do you actually launch your offer. Well, in today's episode, I want to break down what are the actual steps you can take to have a successful five-figure or six-figure day using this simple three-step launch strategy. My goal is to help coaches and entrepreneurs turn their mind into money, teaching them how to take what they know, package it, market it, sell it, and automate it to make a massive income and massive impact, even if they don't have a lot of followers on social media. Welcome back to another episode of Monetizer Marcus. I'm your host, Marcus Wild Rosia. Yo, my goal is to help you turn your mind into money. What does that mean? Well, in the information age, family, your ability to be able to take the knowledge that you have in your head and package that in a way that serves people, they'll pay you for it. It's one thing to tell somebody they got a toothache. It's another to have the knowledge to fix it, and people will pay you for that. So in today's episode, I want to show you how to launch an offer. Now, we got to go through some do's and don'ts of what you should not do and what you should do, and we got to define what is a launch because some people are getting this thing confused. I don't know how this happened, when it happened, who said it, who did it. I wish I could find the person that told you that launching an offer is posting a flyer on social media. I want to take, listen, come here. I, I was born in the 80s. If you ever watch Harlem Nights when Buddy had that little bitty gun and slapped him in the head and said, don't shoot that little no more. That's what I want to do. When I hear people say, hey, I'm trying to get ready to launch, but I got to get my graphic, got to get the flyer. If you need the flyer to launch, you don't have a launch. That's promotion, family. That's not launching. <laughs> promotion is where you continue to remind someone of something they're already aware of. That's what the flyer is for. That's not a launch. So you don't need, if you need to wait on a website, if you need to wait on a flyer, if you need to wait on any of those things to launch, you're not launching. I want to break down what is an actual launch and how do you do this? I don't want to spend a bunch of time with three strategic steps when we're talking about the don'ts. You should not start with the flyer. You shouldn't. You should not. What should you start with instead? And this is just the do's and don'ts. You should start with one continuous conversation. What does that mean? If you are launching an offer to teach people that are beauticians how to start their own beauty business and create their own beauty products, that doesn't start with the product. That's the last result. That's the goal. That starts with a conversation. So if I were coaching you, beauty school girl, I would say, why not start with, as a part of your launch strategy? One of the things I call it, I call it a laid back launch or some could call it a lazy launch, but people don't like that wording. So I use laid back. I would start by having a conversation and saying to people, yo, what's crazy is I cannot believe that this is year three of me owning my own beauty business. I've been so head down working on my business that I decided now it's time to finally teach someone how I got started and been able to do X, Y, and Z. Would this be something you'd be interested in? Post number one. Post number two, old photos of when you got started. Post number three, <laughs> biggest mistake that you made. We've got to pause right there because I'm in the giving mood. I decided to offer you a free gift, absolutely free. Now, I tell you all the time about turning your ideas into online income, but how am I going to tell you to do something and not provide the resource for it? There's so many questions that people have online about what should I post? How do I get my engagement up? How do I get people to click the link in my bio? Buy from me. What should I sell? Whether it's an ebook, an online course, how much should I charge? How do I launch? How do I do a webinar? You see what I'm saying? So I decided to create a free training and give it to you that you can utilize to learn how to literally take the services that you do or the ideas you have and build a successful online company. Go to www.monetizermarkets.com, my gift to you. You're welcome. All I would do is map out seven days of one continuous conversation to get people engaged. And what I'm doing is moving people from the awareness of, of the fact that I'm thinking about doing this thing that I already know I'm going to do to getting people to raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested, X, Y, and Z. Now, if we're getting really crazy with this, I don't know if I should go this deep. Should I? Should I? I got to do like Shanae. Are you sure? All right. <laughs> Here's what, I, what, what really gets crazy. Why would I want people to comment? Why would I want people to DM? Now, this is for my high-level entrepreneurs who's running ads. Because my ad campaign is going to be a, a retargeting ad to everyone who DM and commented on my page in the last seven days. <laughs> Mind-blown emoji. 
So guess what happens? I already got ads running that's showing up to the people that commented about the thing that I'm talking about while on social media, I'm still having one continuous conversation in that awareness phase of a lunch. Don't make the mistake by starting with the flyer. Why? Because people will tune you out. No, one's, no one goes to social media to buy products. So the way that you sell products on social media is by starting a conversation and engaging people at points of interest and solutions. So part of your lunch family, you got to be able to track this stuff. So don't make the mistake of starting with the flyer. What's the other mistake that people make? They spend all their time talking about buy my this, buy my that. Hey, y'all know I'm only 30 days away from lunch at my beauty school academy. I don't know why I'm picking on beauty school. Let me switch to the fellas. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what is something that, that guys do to be funny to me? No, and, and y'all can kill me in the comments. It's okay. I'm just making examples. We're just having fun while we're learning. It's edutainment. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm starting my uh, train your dog school, right? What are they be doing? The Rottweilers and the pit bulls, right? So, so it, hey, so if you want to get on the wait list, I would not start by telling people to get on a wait list to buy a product. You with me? Why wouldn't I start that way? Because they're, like, people keep trying to use scarcity tactics they see other people do. You can do scarcity tactics and wait lists for people to buy Beyonce tickets. Why? There is no scarcity where there is no desire. If I want the thing, you can create scarcity. But if I don't even know if I want it, ain't no scarcity. Only 10 left, you're going to miss out. Cool. I ain't want it no way. <laughs> you cannot create scarcity where, where you have not created desire. So a part of your lunch is to create the desire for the thing that you're going to sell first. Then later on, you can do a wait list. Is this, right, tap, tap, is this thing on? You get what I'm telling you. So those are a couple do's and don'ts. But we got to get surgical. So what should you do? Let's do this really quick. Let's go to the board and draw this thing out. I feel like Kenny Smith without being bow-legged. <laughs> All right, get to the board. We ready? What should we do? Let's just think of it like a funnel, fam, as a part of our lunch. Up here, this top part of this, first step in your lunch is awareness and attention. Now, Marcus, what do you mean by this? How's this the first step? This is step one in this, in a part of my lunch, awareness and attention. How so? Because in your initial rollout, your job is to track the data to see how many people actually know about it. The first step of any lunch is awareness. You go on a full campaign and say, okay, if I'm doing a conference, my first few weeks, the only thing I wanna do is be, almost, I wanna be aggravating. I want every time you open your phone, you ready for this? This is the rule I teach. It is okay for them to say no. It's not okay for them to not know. I'm going to say it one more time. Number one rule of marketing, number one rule of launching. It is okay for them to say no. It is not okay for them to not know. Your job is to make sure that everybody knows that it exists. Make them say yes or no. This is the first goal in any launch. It's the fact of make somebody say, I ain't coming. But I would rather I'm not coming then. I didn't even know you was having an event. Because your first goal in any lunch is the awareness to put out as many things as possible, as many different formats, whether it's spoofs, it's skits, it's tags, it's lives, I don't care how you do it. You think of every way humanly possible to make people aware of the fact that you got something going on. Makes sense now. Now that you've got people aware of it, you're trying to figure out, okay, this is why people go on press tours. How do I get in front of more people to get more attention to make more people aware? You gauge the numbers in this to determine when you move to step two. If you realize that you're not getting the traction, not enough people are aware, you don't move to step two. Makes sense now. This is why it starts with one continual conversation for seven days, because if we did one continuous conversation everywhere that we have a list, whether it's a social media following, whether it's an email list, a text list, whether you are hanging out with friends and saying, yo, what do you, hey, can y'all do me a favor? Do you all mind going live with me so we can talk about my event on Instagram Live? What, why would we be doing that? That's awareness and attention. Big announcement coming next Friday, and every day you start dripping certain things. It's an awareness and attention campaign as a part of your launch. You got to track these numbers then to say, okay, this amount of people commented or they opted into my list if you're put, moving them into a funnel. And if I were doing it and said, if you're interested, comment the word ready. 
I can look at my mini chat or whether you use a mobile monkey or whatever your automation is, and I look at the numbers, and if my goal was to get 100 people as a part of my awareness campaign on my lunch, once I hit 100, I'm moving to step two. See the difference? A flyer don't give you that. It don't give you that. Step two then, part of your lunch, is the capture. It's this is where a wait list lives. It's for you to capture the, the people that are aware and that have attention into a list that you can now continue the conversation away from those who you're still making aware. So this is still happening while this is happening. You get it now? You should quit working for free. How did social media hire all of us to be their workforce? We're on the app posting videos, going live, creating reels. We do not get paid when we create content on social media. They do by selling our content to advertisers. But how do you actually build an online business using social media? I wanna break it down for you and give you access to it. There's five simple steps. I'll tell it to you in a few seconds. Step number one is client attraction. I'm gonna show you how to actually attract clients that will happily pay you what you're offering. Step number two, how to capture them. How do you get their emails? How do you get their phone numbers? How do you get them to show up to your event? Be on your Zoom calls. To what I refer to as client dating, it's where you nurture a relationship with people to get them to say yes to whatever you're offering. And I'm even going to show you what type of content to create that gives you brand visibility and brand recognition. I call it social media secrets. You get access wherever you're watching this video. You'll see it in the description and you'll see it beneath this. Let's get back to the episode. You're making more people aware every day while you're also having a conversation behind closed doors with those who you capture their information. Hey, if you're interested in learning how you can launch your very own high ticket offer, if you're interested in learning how you create a digital product, if you're interested in learning how you can put on a virtual event, I'm thinking about helping 10 people create con learn how to create content that attracts clients and set up DM automations to follow up with them. DM me the word ready. That's an awareness. And those people that DM ready is a whole nother conversation happening. Why? Because this is my lunch. This makes sense now. Third thing we're going to do, and we're going to track the numbers of this. We might say, hey, we want 50 people a week here. We want 100 people here. Third thing after the capture is the actual conversion part of it. We want to see how many people that were a part of my awareness and my capture that I can get to say yes and buy from me whatever the thing is. So long before you ever get ready to sell you start by thinking through this this is why you don't have to wait you can start this today and do the rest of this later <laughs> you get it now so those are three steps now i got a bunch of different lunch strategies but those are three simple steps that anyone can follow now the strategy i know is some little you like marcus i still got more pieces i get it i get it i can't teach you everything in one thing i'm not withholding from you but we'll be on here for an hour because there's about six different types of launch strategies we teach our clients depending on what they have in place, their list, if they're just getting started, as well as when we start talking about your relaunch strategy, that every business should be relaunching their offer every month. Marcus, where you get this from? How long McDonald's been relaunching that, that, that McRib that literally, hey, to anybody who eats that thing, you, get what, you reap what you sow and your stomach gonna have some revenge on you. <laughs> All right, but how long they've been relaunching the Big Mac, relaunching the double cheeseburger. Every business should have a, a monthly relaunch process to be able to continue to generate revenue. And that's what I help my clients do. Launch and relaunch their offers and make more sales to be able to drive more revenue. Five figures, it should be a bad month for you in business if you're truly doing this the right way. This has been another episode of Monetize with Marcus. I hope that you've subscribed so you don't miss any of this. Don't forget every Monday, Monetize with Marcus and every Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. If you need me, you know where to be, find me. I'll be over here minding my online business. I'll see you in the next episode.